Good afternoon, gang. Not that I was planning on making this video, but I thought it'd be something good. Y'all remember my army buddy, Brett. He was on the channel here with me, oh, a couple of months back or whatever. We talked a little bit and uh, just talked to him a little bit here recently. He just got back into the country. He was over in Turkey for about a month work. Okay, And of course, the day to come back home was yesterday flying into Indianapolis, right in the middle of the nice cold weather, 10 below zero, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, it took a while for his truck to start as it was sitting in the airport parking lot for a month and it was frigid cold on top of it, but he finally got it going, right? And fortunately for most of us, you know, we start our vehicles more than once a month, but when you're out of country, kind of hard to do. So he got on the road and he decided to start driving. I'm assuming he was landing in Indy, probably going to his folks' house to spend Christmas. Didn't talk about that part, but that would be it. And on the, on the road, here it was at night, 10 below zero, there was a guy walking up the road with nothing more than a jacket, some jeans, and a tennis shoes. Brett stopped and helped him drove him three miles to the nearest gas station. His car had broken down. The guy was so cold he could hardly talk. How many times have you ever gotten in the car and go, nah, I'm just running to the store. It's bitter cold out and you put on a jacket or nothing, tennis shoes, and that's it. I know I've done that plenty of times in my life. Ah, it's no big deal. I'm just running up here real quick. And 99.99% of the time, nothing ever happens. And you go to the store, you get your stuff done, you come home and you're done. But what about that 0.01% of the time? Because guaranteed that's exactly what this guy was thinking. All right. Ah, it's no big deal. I'll just go wherever I'm going. You could say my car's in tip top shape. Sure. Could be a brand new car. Brand new cars break down too. You could hit something in the road, get a flat tire. You know, it's cold, something could happen. A hose could freeze, whatever. You could hit something, anything can happen at any time. Dress appropriately, obviously, if you're going out for the worst case scenario. But the other thing, we've talked about this before, about having emergency supplies in your car. Road flares, have a spare tire, there's a hell of an idea, okay. Whatever you would need, you know, your bug out bag. My bug out bag stays in my truck all the time, okay. And it's got ski cap and scarf and, you know, everything like that that I could possibly ever need. Make sure you have whatever you could possibly need in your vehicle. I don't care if you're going to go away from the house for a mile. Just think about right now, if you had to walk a mile today in this cold weather. Now, imagine you don't have a hat, you don't have a glove, you don't have gloves, you're in tennis shoes, okay? Depending on where you are, there could be snow on the ground. I'm betting if there's snow on the ground, you probably aren't in tennis shoes, okay? But I look at here, there's no snow on the ground. But if I'm outside, I'm outside in tennis shoes. I don't have boots on or anything like that, okay? Not keeping your feet warm. I don't have thermal underwear on or even a pair of sweatpants on under my jeans or anything right now, okay? I've just got a regular pair of jeans. And i just as guilty as everybody else. If I was going to go to the store today, I'd throw a coat on, probably no gloves, and I'd go to the store. And this story right here, what he told me, really makes me think, okay? Now, I've got my stuff in the truck. That's not a big deal. I've got gloves. I've got a scarf. I've got a knit hat, everything like that. So I'd have it if I had to. But how many people don't? How many people right now, today, last night, tomorrow, tonight, whenever it's going to be, will freeze possibly to death on the side of the road because they ran out of gas. They got a flat tire. You know, the radiator sprung a leak and the car overheated. Anything of the sort like that. 
these are the things that I say a lot of times. It may not have happened to us, but it could. you can learn from it. And I mean, here's a story of a guy who just didn't expect his car to break down probably and had no, on, you know, a back road somewhere where, as Brett said, there was no other traffic. It just, God's will that Brett was going down this road in that weather at that time of night and saw this guy. What happens to this guy if Brett doesn't stop? There was nobody else. Does he never make it home and everybody wonders where he was and this morning they find some guy frozen to death out on the side of the road? I mean, that's that's literally where this could have led. Now, I don't ever want to see anybody in this situation. I know there's plenty of people that can say, oh, gee, you could never take that risk of picking up some guy on the side of the road or whatever. Yeah, I get that, okay? The world's not exactly the same as it was even 20 years ago when I told you, no, 30 years ago, told you when I hit, hitchhiked my way from Texas to Cincinnati. But, yeah, I'm betting that somebody who's a threat is not going to be out underdressed for the situation on a back road somewhere in Indiana where there's no traffic going, gee, I'm going to look for somebody I can carjack. Again, sometimes use your common sense, use your humanity. Believe it or not, there's still some of us that still have a little bit of that. And of course, I know Brett well enough, <laughs> guaranteed he was armed, <laughs> all right, to protect himself, not an issue there. But In weather like this, sometimes be kind, be kind to others. There could be somebody else that needs help. You know, a lot of you mentioned you watched the, the Ryan Hall live stream last night as I was watching it too. And probably a lot of you remember one of his storm chasers trying to help pull some guy who got his truck stuck, stuck in a ditch because he was going too fast on a back road in Indiana, okay? and slid off the road and off into a ditch somewhere and they were trying to pull the truck out. As crazy as everything is, as foobar as this whole world is getting, don't let it interrupt who you are, the goodness in your heart. We can all help some other people if we have the opportunity. What I hope is that none of us are the one that needs the help, that we're prepared. So if something like that happens to us, we have a cell phone with us, a radio with us, a ski cap, a scarf, gloves, something to keep us alive. This weather can kill us, guys. Just don't forget about your humanity as well. Have a good day. I'm all out.